Okay, um, trying to get the uh, video quality up a little bit while keeping the files uh, reasonably small, otherwise it takes hours to upload. So I've actually dropped the video quality on the camera and um, I'm just going to post, try posting that straight to um, YouTube rather than using the high quality on the camera and then converting it down to a um, MPEG-4 on the computer. So we'll see how it goes this way. <coughs> okay, so um, <coughs> our progress so far. We've got the basic machine there. We're just going to uh, spin it up and see what voltage we got and what um, frequency we're at. Uh, this is on 24 volts. So your yellow meter on the right um, is showing us our voltage in AC across one phase and the uh, meter on the left, the blue one, is showing us our frequency. Now the other thing I want you to listen for, hopefully you'll be able to hear it, is at a certain RPM the generator uh, makes a really loud whistle. I might just close the door. Um, so you'll hear the whistle as the um, setup's building up speed, but when I disconnect the battery and it's dropping back down in RPM, um, you can hear there's a point where that generator really starts to whistle. So I'm wondering if that's some kind of uh, resonant point that may be just um, a, a resonant point with the air, although the uh, rotor has no fan blades on it as such, it's just a, a smooth drum, so I'm not sure, but uh, it certainly does make a whistle. Anyway, so we're just going to fire it up, um, have a look at our voltage and frequency, and uh, make sure it's all running smooth. We're then going to go ahead and uh, keep going with the setup, and um, put all our uh, electronic equipment on it, but... Um, this is today's work, um, it's probably about five hours work there. Getting the flywheel lined up was the hardest bit because um, at the moment my lathe is not working so um, we had to sit it on a uh, drum of sorts with the sharp vertical in the bearings and um, spin it by hand and just knock the flywheel tr uh, true and then uh, weld it in position and we got it fairly good. Um, as far as doing things by hand goes. So we'll fire it up and uh, we'll let you have a look. Remember voltage is the yellow meter, frequency is the blue meter. And listen for the whistle when I disconnect it. So I'm not sure if you heard that whistle or not, I can hear it plain as. Um, it's probably when it's getting close to half its speed on the wind now. Um, so we have a voltage on uh, each phase at the moment of about 820 volts and a frequency uh, just slightly over one kilohertz. So that's... Um, that speed it's going to be sending 1,000 pulses per second to the capacitors. Of course uh, once we cycle the motor the RPM is going to be lower. Um, our voltage will be lower and of course our uh, frequency will be lower but um, we'll be still somewhere up around six seven hundred hertz. So um, it's going to be pulsing the caps very fast so that's probably when we're going to have to have a look at duty cycle. I'm definitely have to, I definitely have to um, split those phases down. I'll split one in half, um, leave one as it is, and I'll split the other one into four and parallel connect them all. That 
it should bring us down around the uh, 180 volt mark on that one which is probably still too high so we may even have to uh, split it into six but um, I'll start it back up again and let you have a listen for that whistle again So um, we get a whistle about uh, half of top RPM, um, a nice loud long whistle and uh, then we get a very short one down near um, one quarter RPM. So uh, there you go, the flywheel I went for the smaller one, and, um, that's actually off a uh, Volkswagen 1200 motor. But it's spinning very freely, and um, even with the generator on, um, it takes a while to wind down. So the bearings, I've removed all the uh, seals from the bearings, washed all the grease out, both in the motor and the generator, and filled them up with a light oil, which is why you can hear the bearings. Um, but that's to uh, make sure things are freewheeling as, as well as they can. Alright, uh, that's it for this video. I just thought I'd show you the run up, um, the voltage, the open voltage we have, um, and the frequency that we have with it going flat out. As I said, both of them are going to drop because we're going to be cycling the motor, um, which I actually might try just by using the jump leads and touching the uh, battery on and off. So. Um, We'll give it a try, see if I can get it near that whistle. So near that whistle we're somewhere around 500 volts at 600 hertz so um, once we start our cycling uh, we'll have a look at that at around that whistling point and see if there's anything special there. Uh, not quite sure, maybe just everything's coming into harmonics and uh, or into resonance. The magnet's acting against the uh, stator um, core and getting a nice resonant uh, vibration through the system, I don't know. But we'll look into it. That's where we're at at the moment, so, so far so good. And uh, running flat out on 24 volts, it uses 4.6 amps. So, um, we're getting close to the 100 watt mark. Anyway, uh, we'll keep going and see how we go. We can always, um, I mean, there's going to be those out there that say, oh, you're not using the right bloody um, magneto, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's all well and good. I'm using what I have at the moment just to give it a try. If you insist that this one is different um, in any way than the one John uses, other than the fact that John uses a six pole one and we're using a 36 pole one, um, if there's something special about John's, please feel free to tell us what it is. And if you can tell us what it is, then uh, we'll go ahead and make it. But um, if not, then this one's going to do the job. All right, thanks for watching, guys. And um, we'll see you in part three 
where we should have our system all set up and cycling and see how we go. Cheers.